Well, if you look at that sky camera closely, you can actually see a little bit of fog that is out there this morning. Check out this shot again and you can see off into the distance. That's some patchy fog that's developed. It's not dense and not everybody is waking up with it this morning, but something different that we didn't have yesterday. Something else that we've got going on that low humidity continues throughout the afternoon. Lots of sunshine again. We've got another cool morning out there. It's going to get warmer as we head into the day tomorrow for our Labor Day holiday, though. We're in the 50s right now in several spots. Cookville feels fantastic to start off today. 52 is where we're at at this hour. 54 in Crossville down in McMinnville. 54 same for you. 57 in Columbia. We are in the 60s in some spots around the city. Nashville right now at 60 degrees and same for Dixon this morning. Satellite and radar has us clear, so that clear sky has allowed for just a little bit of that fog to develop. You notice what I showed you on that sky camera that fog in Davidson County. We're down to about two miles of visibility in some spots here in the metro area. Down in Lawrenceburg, we've got eight miles of visibility, so it's not too bad. We have noticed on our Columbia camera, the live view that we have there, that it's a bit foggy as well, so you can expect that once you go down into Williamson County along I-65 and even down towards the Tennessee and Alabama state line. Pretty foggy over towards McMinnville. We only have about one mile of visibility there in Warren County. Check out Franklin right now looking at I-65 at least in Williamson County from this view. The fog is not too bad. Murfreesboro's checking in pretty good. Hey, Murphy, Jennifer, Murphy is back. You can see his little tail at the top end of our camera there. He comes and visits us sometimes in the morning. Looks like he snuck away. Maybe he's being a little bit more camera shy this morning. 60 degrees is our temperature there in Murfreesboro. We'll try to check back on that camera through the morning to see if Murphy sticks around. Lawn mowing forecast is looking good for the next couple of days. It's not until the middle of the week that I'm anticipating more rain to come back into the picture. And honestly, even by Wednesday, it's not going to be a too wet rain chance don't get high until the end really of the work week. So our pool forecast is looking good today, even tomorrow because we're not going to see any humidity. It's going to feel great outside. 88 is going to feel very manageable when you don't have that humidity running very high today. Again, no rain through Labor Day, so even tomorrow is looking pretty good. Highs today run a couple degrees above normal for this time of the year. Typically, we're in the mid 80s in early September, so 88 is above that. But it's not as bad as it could be. The record is set back in 1954, 103 degrees. We're all happy that that's going to stand another year. Overnight tonight, it is going to be cool again and clear. However, it's not going to be as cool as what we've seen the last few mornings. I don't think many of us will see the 50s like we've got out there right now. In fact, expecting us to stay widely in the 60s as we start off on our day Labor Day. So if we're starting off a little bit warmer, that should tell you the afternoon. It's going to be a little bit warmer as well. Temperatures close to 90 even on Monday for Labor Day and we're staying that way for Tuesday as well. It's almost a copy and paste forecast for those first two days of the week. Told you Wednesday's rain chances weren't incredibly high, just keeping a 20% chance in to see an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Rain chances really start to ramp up by the end of the week though. It looks like Thursday and Friday are going to be our wettest days. Just like this past week, we did have that cold front that came through that brought us the low humidity this weekend. It's going to be the same thing by next weekend. It starts to cool us down again. So we're talking highs in the 70s for the end of that seven day forecast.